there my beautiful bougie baby welcome to my channel as you guys could see i went a little brazy and i covered everything in glitter including my lamp so welcome to our new little setup yes well anyways today we are going to do a learn with me episode we are going to learn how to ombre together you guys and we are going to create this gorgeous extra bougie barbie set so if you guys want to learn how i create this beautiful set come learn with me my beautiful bougie babies all right let's go well, all right my beautiful friend so we're gonna start with a clean little area over here and we're going to take our press on nail stand with the loctite putty on top of it and we're going to begin putting our press on nails on top of it and if you guys are curious on how to size yourself you just put the press on nail on top of your finger like this and bloop that's your size you guys and we are going to be working with these really cool barbie decals that i got from fashion frenzy finds on etsy if you guys don't know how to spell it i'm going to be putting down the name in the description box below which one should i use next you guys well all right let's go so we are going to start off by buffing our press on nails first yay i got a new buffing block you guys we said bye bye to crusty and I also got some new files to file that little annoying piece of plastic on the tip. So I got a little curious about the clear press-ons, um, about buffing them. So I buffed one already and I'm going to be applying clear nail polish on top of it to see if the ugliness goes away after you apply the clear nail polish. And yes, it's okay to buff your press-on nails and if you put clear nail polish on top of them they will turn clear again so don't be discouraged about buffing your clear press on nails so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my new pink buffing block and i'm just gonna buff the tops of my press on nails and once you're done they should look like this and now i'm going to file my nails because i like the length but i don't like that little piece of plastic on the tip so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be filing that off and then we're going to clean them off with rubbing alcohol or soap and water. And this is what they should look like afterwards, you guys. They should be looking nice and matte. And I'm going to be taking the nails that I want to ombre. So these are the nails that I want to ombre. And then I'm going to be taking my favorite light pink Amy Lee color. Or Amy Lee. I always want to call it Amy Lee, but it's Amy Lee, you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to be nuking it under our UV lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take them out once I'm done with the 60 seconds. And this is what they should look like after their first coat. And I'm going to paint them again with the second coat. And once I'm done, I'm going to be adding a clear coat. My favorite Beatles No Wipe Nail Polish. And this is what they should look like, you guys. Every single coat in between, I did 60 seconds. So now I'm going to take this little artist palette that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be taking this 750 color by the Beatles brand. And it is this beautiful Barbie hot pink color. And I'm just going to be adding a glob on my artist palette. And then I'm going to be taking the nail that I want to ombre. And then we will be taking our sponge tool, which I bedazzled, by the way, and I will link down below. And we're going to dip it in the pink, and we're going to be doing our first coat. So when we put our sponge tool on our nail, we're going to start at the tip. And we're going to concentrate the color at the tip. And if you grab too much, it's okay to blot it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pat the color down. And we don't want to get any more color because we want the color to dilute itself as you go lower. So you just want to tap or pat 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 downwards and you don't want to pick up any more color because you want the color to go light as you go down if that makes any sense you want the color to ombre down to the light pink and we're just gonna pat 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 you guys and i suggest doing light pats and grabbing a little bit of color and this is what our first coat should look like now i'm going to show you guys how to do it again you're going to grab the nail you're going to dip into the pink concentrate at the tip and we are just going to pat all the way down and by the second time i picked up this little sideways motion as you guys could see here and it really helped me out a lot you guys and i'm just gonna pat all the way down until it gets lighter and this is the first coat you guys super easy now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do the rest of our nails and this is what our nail should look like after the first coat and we're gonna put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do coat two so same thing, we're going to grab the pink, concentrate at the tip, and we're just going to pat it downwards just like this. Pat, pat, pat downwards. And it's going to get darker the more layers that you do. So try to make sure that you use less product as you go lower, you guys. Because like I said, you want it to be concentrated at the tip and very, very light at the bottom. And this is our second coat, you guys. And this is what the rest of our nails should look like with the second coat. And we're going to nuke them for 60 seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start coat number three again, you guys. Again, we're going to dip into the pink and we're going to concentrate at the tip. And we're just going to work it all the way down in little light pat motions. So pat, 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 pat all the way down. And you want to get less color as you go lower because you don't want it to be dark. 
you want it to fade into the baby pink just like this and this is a really tedious um, process you guys but the results are amazing and this is what our nails should look like after three coats you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the rest of the nails once I'm done, I'm going to put them in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what they should look like after the third coat. And now, let's move on to coat number four, you guys. <laughs> all right, same ting, y'all. We concentrate the color at the tip and we drag it all the way down. And we want it to go lighter as we go down. And this is what our nail should look like after we have put on our fourth coat. And we're going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what it should look like, you guys. They look so beautiful. And now we're going to move on to the last coat, you guys. The fifth coat. We're going to start at the tip. Drag the color down. And we are going to get our results. Voila, you guys. We're going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds for the last time. Actually, I lied. We're going to still do clear coat. We're going to add our beetles top coat. And we're going to do a nice juicy layer of that because we want them to shine to the gods, honey. And once we're done with that, we're going to do the rest of our nails. I used the same hot pink that we used before to do the ombre. And then I used my favorite ASP white hot. And then I used my Beatles clear top coat to finish it all off. So now we're going to go ahead with the decals. Like I said, I got these from Fashion Frenzy Finds. And all I did is just take them off and I just patted them on like this. And make sure that they are nice and flat. And what I did is I put the Barbie decal on the clear thumb. And the Barbie head on the white middle finger. And once we are done putting them on, we're going to take our Beatles top coat and we're going to go over them with a nice thick juicy layer to seal them in to make sure that they don't peel off. We're going to stick it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and these are our results, you guys. I really love them! Okay, you guys, so this is the design that I originally came up with when I sat down to do them. But to be honest, I'm not really in love with them. So I don't really want to put this out. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to redo the whole entire thing. So bye bye B. And I am going to start a whole new set with you guys. So let's begin my beautiful bougie babies. So my favorite part is here. So let's get our wax pen. This pen helps you pick up crystals really easily. And it's really dirty by the way. I'm so sorry. And we're going to get our crystals. I'm going to be linking everything down in the description box below. And you also need a little brush for your glue. And lastly, you will need your glue. So I have something to say about this glue, you guys. So after using and reviewing this glue for like about a month, I've been realizing that it's been really messy to use lately. And over time, it's been taking really long for my crystals to set. So I went on Amazon and I did some reviewing. And I saw that there's this me a secret clear gel nail resin glue that people actually use for their press on nail business is available on amazon so i went ahead and i purchased it and i used it on my sponge tool and i've had my cold clammy hands on it and none of the crystals have fallen off so that's a good thing so i think from now on for my smaller crystals i'm going to be using the clear mia secret gel resin glue and for my larger stones i might just use this clear gel glue unless i find something else so yeah you guys so in conclusion if you guys want to start a press on nail business Business. I don't really think this is a gel nail glue for you guys so let's begin so I am going to be just applying this glue on the areas that I want so it's really easy you just paint it right on just like nail polish just like this and then I'm going to be taking my crystals and my wax pen and I'm going to be creating an anti row because you guys know how much I love my little anti rows so the Mia Secret Gel Glue is really easy to use, you guys, as you guys can see. You guys just brush it on like nail polish and you guys apply your crystals and it sets overnight. However, I did hear about the spray that the Mia Secret Gel Glue comes with that you guys just spray on the areas where you have applied the glue and it sets your crystals in place right then and there. No UV lamp required. And guess what? Your girl bought it and it comes in on Wednesday. So we'll review it on Wednesday, you guys. <laughs> Well, all right, you guys, so now let's move on to one of our ombre nails. So I do not want to cover up all of the work that we just did, but I'm going to be covering up the whole entire nail in clear gel nail resin. And I'm just going to be adding random crystals like this in this little pattern all the way down to the bottom of the nail.
Okay guys, so now we're gonna be taking our Barbie girl middle finger and I'm gonna be taking this really cute crown nail stone and I'm gonna be taking our clear gel nail glue and I'm gonna be adding a good amount on top of her little head and then I'm gonna place the crown right on top, you guys, and I fall right into habit and I forgot about the Mia's gel nail resin and I went ahead and I added a nice thick glob on the bottom and I added some stones, you guys. So she felt a little plain to me still, so I went ahead with my Mia's gel nail resin and I added some glue on top and I went ahead and I added another little layer of stones on the top as well. Okay guys, now moving on to our other ombre nail. So I wanted to keep this set looking cohesive. So I went ahead and I did the same thing that I did with the other ombre nail with this one. I covered it in the Mia's gel nail resin and I added random um, little gems all the way down like this. Okay guys, and last but not least, let's move on to the pinky. So this one's a heavy hitter, you guys. So we're gonna break out our large crystals and we're gonna break out our clear nail gel glue. And we're gonna add a big glob right on top of it, you guys. And we're gonna add a row of crystals all the way down. And with my Mia's gel nail resin, I added it on the side and I added the small crystals. However, I don't recommend mixing the Mia's gel nail resin and the clear glue because for some reason, it starts clouding a little bit like this. And we're going to set that for 60 seconds or more. And these are our results, you guys. And I ended up redoing the pinky because I did not like it. I did not like the cloudiness. So, bye, girl. And this is our set, you guys. It looks so freaking cute. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And then I also wanted to take the time to congratulate us and say, yay, we're almost super close to 2,000 subs. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm super humbled and I'm super thankful. I can't wait to show you guys what I want to put out next. I'm really excited. Um, I never thought that my channel would get this big. And I'm just really thankful. I love you guys. And then also, you guys, please stay tuned for next week's video. I'm going to be releasing the set that I had on my hands today. Well, all right, you guys. See you on the next one. Thank you guys. I love you so freaking much. Also, before we leave, I wanted to take the time to say that I know the world is a really ugly place right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here for you and I'm your sister. I love you guys. Stay safe and I will keep you guys in my prayers. See you guys next time, my beautiful bougie friend. Bye.